Maine has problems with a number of kinds of invasive species, and one that's causing a lot of damage is the winter moth. They've now taken hold in Maine from Bar Harbor South, ranging up to 30 miles inland. The Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry is combating the spread of the winter moth by bringing in an invasive insect. So we're bringing in Bill Green to tell <laughs> us about a story of devastation <laughs> and Gruesome. destruction. This is gross. <laughs> the winter moths have taken hold where they have no natural predator and now a parasitic fly is being brought in and the way it eats up winter moths is gruesome. Many wouldn't notice the thinness of the canopy in this patch of woods dominated by Norway maples. But when you look up close, you can easily see winter moth caterpillars eating up the leaves. The chomping is now going on from Bar Harbor south along the coast. So it's uh, continuing to increase in numbers and the infestations are getting fairly severe in some areas. In Bath, they are fighting back. To combat the invasive winter moth, they are bringing in a parasitic fly which feeds, they say, only on the moth. The team is concerned about their project as there was damage to the cage, which also may have been tampered with this winter. We came in here after a windstorm during the winter and there's a 18 inch pine just resting over it. Are you guys in there? The fallen tree did just enough damage that some critters got in to feed on the flies. Still a few were left to begin the process of attacking winter moths. These flies, once they're mated, they will be attracted to, they'll smell the, the uh, scent of, of leaves that have been chewed on by the, by the winter moth. And so they will go fly to those leaves, lay their eggs on the leaves. We saw flies slowly crawling out and exiting their winter home, looking for a place to lay their eggs. So the flies will lay their eggs on leaves that are being eaten by the winter moth caterpillars. The caterpillars will ingest those eggs as well, and then a delightfully diabolical process begins. In another month, the winter moth caterpillars will drop from the leaves and burrow into the soil. They will be eaten from the inside out by flies' eggs, which will incubate into larvae inside the caterpillars. As a biologist, I find this very cool, <laughs> this sort of parasitism. Um, other people might find it kind of disgusting, sort of like, you know, the monster from Alien breaking out of the... Oh, the person. This system is working other places, and the scientists say it's far better than spraying. You can't spray in the forest. It's just, it's prohibitively expensive, even if you wanted to spray in the forest. Mm -hmm. um, this, is a, this is a solution that it will take a little bit of time to get it going, but within a few years, we're going to start to see the, you know, in, around areas where we've released these flies, we're going to start to see the populations coming down. Lowering populations will return our coastal tree canopies to a healthy state, and summer will look and feel as it did before winter moths invaded in 2012. And as the winter moth populations rise and falls, the flies will virtually disappear and reappear to keep that population in check.